Hi everybody, welcome back to Profiles from the Titanic. Today we're going to take a look at a first class passenger, a very wealthy person, John Jacob Astor IV. He was a businessman from New York, he was one of the celebrity rock stars of the era, and he was on the Titanic, again another tragic story, and that's why we're going to profile him today. It also goes to show you that having a whole bunch of money doesn't really matter too much when you're on a sinking ship in the middle of the Atlantic. Check out the video, hit the subscriber and the like button, and I'll be back at the end to wrap it up. Profiles from the Titanic, Colonel John Jacob Astor IV. John Jacob Astor IV was born in New York in 1864. He was the great-grandson of John Jacob Astor, who was one of the wealthiest men in the U.S., John Jacob IV studied at Harvard, and he was known for being an author, a businessman, and even an inventor. He served in the Spanish-American War after 1898, where he was then called Colonel Astor. Many times in books, uh, people refer to him as Colonel Astor. He had married before that and had two children, but a scandalous divorce in 1909 caused a lot of heat in New York, especially made even worse a couple of years later in 1911, he married 18-year-old Madeline Force, who was one year younger than his son. John Jacob IV and his new young wife left to tour Egypt and Europe in late 1911, and in April of 1912, they finally came home aboard, you guessed it, the Titanic. Madeline, at the time, was five months pregnant. John Jacob didn't think the accident was too bad once the Titanic hit the iceberg, and there are reports that he cut open a life belt to show his wife what was inside and didn't think that they really needed to get into a lifeboat. Eventually, however, he did put his wife into lifeboat number four and asked Second Officer Lightoller if he could go with her because she was in delicate condition, referring to her being pregnant. Lightoller told him no, not before any other women and children. He asked which boat it was, and he was told it was number four. At that point, he stood back to watch his wife float away in the lifeboat. And this was at 1.55 a.m., just 25 minutes before the Titanic would slip beneath the surface of the ocean. Colonel Astor was last seen talking with author Jack Futrell near the bridge wing on the starboard side. His body was one of 333 recovered from the sea on April 22nd, he was identified by initials sewn in his jacket. Madeline gave birth to Jakey Astor in August of 1912. Hope you enjoyed the video, John Jacob Astor the Fourth, and just to give you an idea, you know, he passed away on the Titanic. But just to, goes to show you that you know, sometimes the stories with their families doesn't have a really good ending either. Uh, young Madeline was never really accepted by Colonel Astor's older children. They disowned little Jakey. They didn't even think he was an Astor. They never liked him, never even considered him part of the family. Even to the point where in 1959, almost 50 years after the sinking of the Titanic, when Vincent, Colonel Astor's son, passed away, Little Jakey sued his widow for inheritance money. So it, it was, yeah, not the greatest story and uh, not the happiest ending there. One also, a uh, little side script as well, is that uh, in some of the pictures there, you saw that uh, Colonel Astor had his pet Airedale Kitty. She was a dog. Yes, they had a dog named Kitty on board. Unfortunately, Kitty passed away on the Titanic uh, in the sinking as well. Some uh, dogs got off. Uh, on a lifeboat, actually. They were small. They were carried off by their owners. But as you saw from that picture there, Kitty was a little bit of a larger dog, and so uh, she was not able to uh, survive the sinking either. So again, tragic story there as well. Thanks for watching Profiles from the Titanic. Hit the subscribe and like button again, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.